Many New Testament scholars have noticed that the story that Matthew tells when he recounts the infancy of Joseph, the wise men, Herod, the slaughter of the innocent children, and the flight to Egypt is quite different from what Luke tells, the story of Zechariah and Elizabeth and John the Baptist, the story of the birth in Bethlehem and the shepherds, and of Jesus going up to the temple at the age of 12. And as they look at these two narratives, they do see the skeletal thread of information that they share, about 12 points in fact in common. The name of the parents, Mary and Joseph. The fact that Mary and Joseph are both from the house of David. The fact that Mary becomes pregnant by the Holy Spirit, that Jesus' name is announced before his birth, and that he will be Savior. The fact that an angel is involved in proclaiming this coming birth to both the father and the mother. They share this thread of information about Jesus' earliest origins. And I, and I think we have to appreciate how difficult it was at the time when they were writing the Gospels to find people who could really fill them in on all that had happened. It wasn't a day of videotapes and, and cameras and crews that you could record everything. So they're writing in the 60s and 70s about things that happened in the years BC and they must struggle to take their skeletal thread and fill out the story, which they do by focusing on unique episodes that they have information about.